It is an out of this world challenge. Researchers at the University of California Riverside are making strides in the mission to grow food in space. This past summer, they earned $250,000 toward their research in NASA's Deep Space Food Challenge. Eyewitness News reporter Leticia Juarez has your first look. And lift off. Space, the final frontier for agriculture. It's very expensive to send food up to the astronauts, so ideally we want them to be able to grow some of their own food. As NASA plans missions to the moon and Mars, scientists like Dr. Robert Jinkerson, a chemical and environmental engineer at UC Riverside, is researching how to grow plants and fungal-based food using artificial photosynthesis. Our work is focused on is how do we actually grow plants without light and try to reduce and minimize the amount of light. Instead of sunlight, Jinkerson has managed to grow tomatoes using acetate, a carbon-based alternative energy source. You might notice the plant's unusual small size. That's due to the work of Dr. Martha Orozco Cardenas, who runs the Plant Transformation Research Center at UCR. He was quite surprised about how small was the plant that I produced by Genetic Engineer. Her genetically engineered tomato is designed to produce fruit in small spaces, so it can be a food source for astronauts on the International Space Station. Currently, the research is being evaluated at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The next phase in the research project will be taking seeds of tomato plants like these and sending them to space to see how they perform. Astronauts are going to harvest the fruit and then the seeds, replant them and then grow another batch of tomatoes. And this will be the first seed to seed to seed experiment uh, in space. But tomatoes aren't the only thing on the menu. Jinkerson and his team have developed a protein rich crop of mushrooms using the same technology. This is kind of probably one of the first applications for our artificial photosynthesis for food production is to grow mushrooms. So we can feed the mushrooms with the acetate and then allow them to grow in space. The cosmic crops may one day provide astronauts the ability to extend their stay in space. In Riverside, Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.